Hi, it's Lance Yolanoff, Editor in Chief of Mashable. I'm sitting here with William Lynch, the CEO of Barnes and Noble. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Lynch, you guys just rolled out. You're you're introducing this this week uh, a Nook HD and Nook HD Plus, not just uh, one tablet, but two different form factors. So, maybe you could just explain to us, you know, what got you here? I mean, what did you learn from the first uh, Nook True Tablet? to drive the decision making for these products? Well, maybe we'll start, uh, Lance, with the Nook HD, which is our seven inch product. The Nook HD has the highest resolution screen uh, in the seven inch category. It's also the lightest weight in the seven inch category. And what we learned is that for media tablets, the screen and display matters a lot, as does weight. And so if you um, look at this versus the other competitive tablets, it's just, a much better, much higher quality screen. So the content really comes through, whether it's a magazine, a book. And as, as you said earlier, Lance, it's content led. So the content's first. On the UI, we have something called the Active Shelf, which pushes all your content forward, whether it's a magazine, a catalog, which is a new content type we just launched, videos or books. And so we think this is hands down the world's best seven inch media tablet. The form factor is very user friendly soft touch paint. It's just a joy to hold and it's much thinner than say the Kindle Fire HD. Um, so the ergonomics are much better designed. You guys going to be offering any upgrades for upgrade pricing for the folks who did buy the original Nook tablet? We haven't announced anything. Um, we've obviously had discussions about it. Coming out of the gate we think that uh, we probably won't offer that um, but it's something we do think about. With the 9 inch device that's sort of getting close to the gaping maw of the tiger, right? You got Apple out there with the very successful iPad, now what do we call it, the iPad 3, iPad Retina, uh, or something like that. So you're stepping into kind of a different space. I mean, what, you know, one, why, why would you do it? And two, you know, so how do you, how do you, uh, what do you think of your chances? Well, Lance, we, when we design something, we say, well, why does the world need a large format tablet? As you say, the iPad's been really successful, but the iPad's an expensive product. If you look in the market below, let's call it $600, really, if you look at their 32 gigabyte product, which is, we think, what these media tablets need, there's been nothing that's of high quality uh, at a more accessible price point. This product, Nook HD Plus, has a resolution on the screen similar to that of the iPad, and in some ways, some of the things we've done uh, actually uh, superior, and it's got that same content forward uh, experience that we've got in Hummingbird, but it's 20% less weight than the iPad, and, and for the 32 gigabyte product, half the price. So that you can get this product at 16 gigabytes at 269, which we think is a wow price point and really accessible, and 299 for the 32 gigabyte product. So it allows families to invest in a high quality tablet uh, and not have to reach at that $500, $600, $700 price point. Well, I have to say it's, uh, it's a very interesting set of products, uh, very cool. I can't wait to really spend a lot of time with it, uh, consume a lot of stuff. I do notice it doesn't have a camera. I'm not sure I'll miss that or not, but uh, uh, very interesting profiles. You know, I like the interface, uh, so uh, you know, it's going to be a very interesting holiday season. So. Yeah. Well, Lance, we appreciate it. We, we think if you, just talking about the camera for a minute, we had to invest in certain specs. And so to hit these price points, we made most of the investments in the screen, uh, the form factor, the materials that were used. And uh, we're excited and we agree, it should be a nice holiday. It's still Android underneath, right? It is, it's Ice Cream Sandwich yeah, 4. Auto. All right, well, uh, again, William Lynch, CEO of Barnes & Noble, thanks for taking time to speak to us, and uh, we can't wait to get our hands on these things and uh, play around with them. Yeah, thanks, Lance.